full time at the Brentford Community Stadium and it finished Brentford 2 Watford 1 honestly I don't know how that's happened I honestly think something might have hacked the system how we've lost that game I do not know goodness gracious me awful 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 like what are we doing with game management with just working out the time left use the most of it don't just oh fall into our shell i mean it we completely bottled that we we threw it away at the end and i don't know what to say really it was just absolutely dreadful <sighs> really good performances going into this chelsea man city we had optimism and you know brentford had a lot of players out but we've managed to just look like we've just exploded at the end of the game after actually a really good de defensive solid performance at times in that match we scored a good goal from Dennis Dennis the menace he's basically Salah at this point but he's so so good 15 matches he's played because he did miss one of them and in that time an unbelievable seven goals and five assists in his debut season he's the next Nigerian superstar the next Odian Egalo, what a player, Emmanuel Dennis, what a signing, brilliant stuff. Um, yeah, I did my half-time review, but this is the full-time review of Brentford 2, Watford 1. It has just absolutely ruined my whole weekend, I'm not going to lie, people. And I'm fuming, because it's all defensive lapses, it's all the fact that our defence right now is not good enough. It's championship quality, and we've got Sierra and Nicholas and Kulu who are much, much better, and when they're fit, we're not going to be that bad. But William Trooster Kong, I don't like to call out single players, but I'm sorry, he needs to get dropped. That was not good enough, and I know that people make mistakes, and fair enough, right, he shouldn't be getting the amount of abuse he's getting, because, you know, we're only human at the end of the day. But on a football sense of it, he's got to look at himself and say, that is not the player he know he can be. We saw that in the Championship, he was fantastic. Obviously, it's a big step up, but I'm sorry, mate. You're just not cutting it. You're honestly not cutting it, and your mistakes are single-handedly causing us problems, right? You've got Southampton, didn't close the ball down before Chad Adams shot. you got Leicester, ducks under the ball, and then this one, diving in recklessly when he doesn't need to in the 95th minute. Come on, man. Bit of game management, bit of experience. You've played all those games for Nigeria, didn't show any of that there, and it is really, really disappointing, so... I'm also going to say I'm disappointed by the referee because I honestly thought Michael Oliver had a good one. Fair enough, right? Few decisions to make, but he made most of them well. But one that he did get wrong, in my opinion, or at least maybe VAR got wrong, was the yellow card, or not not the not yellow card, not even a card, but it should have been a red, in my opinion, for Pontus Janssen, who ironically goes on to get the equaliser. I'm sorry, I'm not being funny. The pass is threaded through... For Moussa Sissoko, and he's running through straight towards goal. That, my friends, if you haven't seen it, go on the Watford website for the full 90-minute highlights. That is denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Janssen should have been off, in my opinion. I don't know how that's not a red card, because he's blocked him off, and he's pulled him back. So, if he stays on, then he goes and scores that goal. If he doesn't, it's a very different game. We, we get a second earlier on. Look, we had chances to get that second goal. Joshua King with the main one, really. Really good work from Joao Pedro after coming off. You know, a lot of people looking into that cleverly substitution. I don't think that did change the game in terms of why we lost it. The reason we lost it was our defensive incapabilities. But what we thought was we'd just try and be a bit more solid. 4-4-2 in the second half. And, yeah, I was fuming. I was absolutely fuming. I mean, let's think about that Janssen goal, right? It is on side by not even half a millimetre. It's just a joke. Kiko's knee is in line with Janssen's foot. I mean, you can't get any closer. So it easily on another day could have been ruled out. And then that preserves our clean sheet, our first of the season. But we're still waiting for that. You feel for Backman because he's made some brilliant saves in that game. The first one quite early on in the game, actually. Really, really good save. Um, it came to him quickly. You know, the, the pass, to be fair, was, was a really good one from Brentford. And 
a missed control from Ngakia. He's got to switch on. And Buermo just kind of leaves it for the chance for, for Brentford. And it's a really strong shot, to be fair, um, from Brentford. You know, he's he's got to tip-tap that over Backman because the defence, just so hesitant. And Baptiste, good effort. But you can't just sit there and watch. The defence needs to be quicker to react. And Truce to Kong was honestly so poor. So, so poor. He needs to react in the first goal, right? It's not just the second goal he's, he's capable for and he's accountable for. The first one... He loses his marker. And we've even got Kiko Femenia there as well. We cannot have two players on the same man that is Pontus Janssen. And neither of them pick him up. And they lose his marker. It's just not good enough. So in a game where you think, OK, we're going to bottle it. We're going to at least draw the game. Where we should really be winning and seeing out the game. As I mentioned, a few chances to kill it off. We think, OK, let's just hold on for a point now. Because... We were under the cosh, right? We were really getting peppered in like the last five, ten minutes. Because when Brentford scored, their tails were up. But we can't even just hold on for a point. We just imploded at the end of the game when, in a game we needed to win, at least a draw. But we've managed to throw all away the points to Brentford. And it's just not good enough. It really is not good enough. Uh, it's just ridiculous. The fact we defended quite well at the end. Um, sorry, we went quite well at times in that game, right? But under pressure, in the mo moments where it matter, we make poor decisions. And we were more direct than usual, which was a good approach, because we knew Brentford were going to press us. We knew that Brentford would push those wing-backs up, and that felt like the perfect opportunity to then, on the counter-attack, put goals away and pass Brentford. And we have the quality in that front three, but we've got no quality in our defence. Cabaselli's still out injured, right? But as soon as he's back, he goes straight in for Truce to Kong. No messing about. And Kulu, still injured. Sierra still injured. We need another centre-back and another left-back in January. I honestly think Ngaki was better in this game, putting good crosses, and Rose was an absolute nightmare against Man City. But the problem is, right, we've got not enough players available in those positions, not players that have an, enough fitness to regularly, week in, week out, put in solid performances. And it's that intensity. We didn't see that intensity for 90 minutes. We certainly did see it in the first half. We we got our goal from that cleverly corner, bullet header from Dennis. And after that, we, we controlled it after some good saves, as I mentioned, from Daniel Batman. The one from Brian and Wormo was fantastic. But it feels like we're just starting to have to go back to the drawing board. We play so much better against bigger teams and against smaller teams, as Ranieri said, we were nervous. We make mistakes and we are passing badly. We had a 58% completion rate. That's the lowest in the Premier League this season. So I don't understand why we're so sloppy at times. And Truce to Kong, just desperate, desperate challenge. Doesn't need to make that, really doesn't. Um, and it's a good cross, to be fair, from Yano, who's playing out of position for that, um, for that cross. And it flicked on by force. But then the penalty, come on, it's just so sloppy. And Brian and Wormo has never really taken them for Brentford. But he just sits down, Backman, waited for him to move. And it is disappointing, to say the very least. So, really need to improve. Need to bounce back quickly against Burnley on Wednesday. Man of the match, it's a tough one. Because, as I said, second half was, was not too bad. We should have killed them off. But the last 10 minutes imploded. So, man of the match... I'll just go for Emmanuel Dennis because he's in great form. But, you know, Foster obviously isn't being much of a miss at the minute. Neither is Saar. Our goals is not the problem, right? Our attack is not the problem. Our problem is William Truster Kong.